Well, happy Friday to you, friend. Thanks for joining me for the end of the work week edition, the Friday episode of Five Minutes with Phil. Thanks for being here today. I trust you've had a good week. I hope so. Uh, today we want to share some uh, uh, some more from the two verses that we've been looking at all week long. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed this kind of unique little series that, that we've done this week. Uh, today, I want to take us back to 1 Corinthians 16. Again, Paul is wrapping up the letter, the first letter that he wrote to this church in Corinth. And uh, he he gives some some good instructions, some, some good encouragement to those that are receiving this letter. And it speaks to us today as well. So one more time, let's look at these verses on the screen. Again, it says, starting in verse 13 of chapter 16 of 1 Corinthians, it says, Be on your guard. Stand firm in the faith. Be courageous. Be strong. And verse 14 has what we're going to talk about today. Do everything in love. Do everything in love. Now, that, that's, that's quite a way to really close uh, these thoughts here. And it's an important way to close it, I think. Because I think the Lord would uh, say the same thing to us, uh, that everything that we do should we do uh, should be done, I should say, out of motivation of love. Two kinds of love, too. Uh, love for God and love for one another. You know, there was a time when the... Uh, the religious leaders were really trying to trap Jesus into saying something that was really wrong. And they, uh, they asked Jesus, and they, they had like the Ten Commandments in mind, you know. And they said, hey, Jesus, which is the greatest commandment? And uh, they, they wanted to trap Jesus in his words. And Jesus was so brilliant. He said this, uh, the greatest commandment is to love the Lord your God with all your heart, your soul, and your mind, and your strength. And the second commandment is just like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. And on these two commands, he said, hang all the law and all the prophets. It, it comes down to this, Jesus said. Having a profound love for God and having a profound love for other people. The things that we do spiritually, for example, I do not believe that we should do them because we're afraid of God, because we're fearful of punishment, because of uh, because of some other some other reason. Uh, the things we might do in church, for example, we we don't do it for status or 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 attention. We do it because we love God. We do it because we love God. And if that's the only reason you do it, that's amazing. But don't forget that we should also have a profound love for other people. I've heard some, I've heard some pastor friends of mine say, you know what, ministry would be easy if it wasn't for the people. <laughs> and, we, and we joke around that way. And uh, when, when, when we say things like that, it, it's, it, it's kind of funny, but in all honesty, sometimes it's hard to love everybody. Uh, we're all so different, and sometimes we might rub each other the wrong way or, or, or you know, whatever. But I, I have really been able to grow tremendously as a child of God because people really matter to me. They really do. People really matter. And so how I treat them, like if I'm going out to eat with my friends or my family, how I might treat the server, that's important to me. How I treat the person checking me out at the grocery store or, or at the pharmacy, I, that's really important to me. Uh, people matter to me. People are important to me. And as I've grown in my walk with God, that, that grows and grows and grows. So I want to challenge you today uh, in everything you do, every moment of the day, let, let your motivation be a profound love for God 
and a profound love for other people. And I think that you will nail it when you say, how can I do everything in love? That's what it is right there. All right. You have an awesome weekend. Love you. Thanks for joining me. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.